Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Robert Hill and today I'm going to be teaching you how to shoot and structure a cinematic lookbook. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little video, just kind of a rough example of what you should do um, for a cinematic lookbook. Definitely there's so many different ways to do this, it's all up to your own style. But today I'm going to be teaching you the structure of what shots you want to look for when you get on location and how you actually get those with your camera. So I like to break down a lookbook into four different categories. But first, you need the structure, which is your intro sequence that leads into the actual clothing itself. <clears throat> so what I used was just Richie walking around and different location shots, something that was a little artsy, and I tried to get those shots the best I could. And most of them were wide shots, just so you can um, let the viewer know what, what location or like the vibe it is. Next is the A-roll or the shots of the clothing itself and you want to break it into five different things. So one, you want to start with wide shots, full body shots with shoes to head, all of that together. And so you get those shots, you can get one wide, a little bit closer up, just to give them the setting or the feel of what the actual outfit is going to look like. And then you break it down into the other four categories which is head, middle, pants, and feet. And for each category, I like to get at least two to three shots for each category. So I got some shots of Cassie's head, which was the necklace and the earrings, and then her chest, which uh, debuted some of the... And then... And then... What the heck? Did you hear that? So I like to break it into four categories shooting A-roll. So I like to have the top half, the middle half, the bottom, and the feet. And then if you have any accessories like Richie's rings, like for example, or a purse or something like that, that's a different shot, it'll be the same thing. So what I like to do for each category is get one close up, one wide, and then one unique shot of whatever that is. So maybe some movement, something in there to just switch it up. And so I will go from head to toe and just do that and if they have an accessory it's the same thing it just gives you you don't have to use all that footage but it gives you the option to maybe edit it in differently and overlay things so it's really useful so for the effects used in this video I made um, a lot of them were just in-house plugins that Final Cut Pro has you can really do whatever you want to switch up coloring and stuff but one thing that I used and um, I suggest you to use is the scale tool where you can really just keyframe and move your videos about and crop them in certain ways that really look cool and debut the products that the person is wearing very well. Also for each category, you wanna make sure to put the text of what the actual clothing item is. I didn't do it for this one just because this is a tutorial on the filming side, but make sure you guys do that while you're there. Yeah, so that's uh, that's gonna be it for the explanation. Um, back to Cassie and Richie for some tips on what the models should actually do for the lookbook. I hope you enjoyed that video. <laughs> <laughs> what? You need to be confident. Know. Okay, so this is... This is Cassie. This is Richie. This is Robert Hill. Yes, that's us. Um, do you guys have any advice for people who are wanting to like model? Loosen up. 
<laughs> That's a good advice. I'd say tell your photographer or your cameraman to shoot from a lower angle. Sometimes it makes you look taller and appear that your legs are a little bit longer. So that's definitely a good tip. Um, keep your posture straight unless you want that more of like an edgy, slouchy vibe. So I guess it really depends on what you're going for. So just it's super easy. Just, just take off your jacket, put it back on, you know. Just move around, yeah. but not too much because yeah. it's kind of... Not like... Yeah, you want to be kind of cool about it, like mm -hmm. you're cool people. Yeah, yeah, don't do what I do, do what they do. There's, <laughs> there's, Shoot in slow-mo too, because yeah. everything looks cooler yeah. in slow-mo. If, um, if you have only a 60 frame per second camera, then have the model actually like just slow down their movements. Even a and then more. if you're filming it, just slow down your movements as well. But yeah, back to you, or actually, do you guys want to say anything about yourselves? We're you're to the nines. Enough. We're to the nines. That's Robert Hill. Yes, that's that's me again. Go subscribe to his channel if you happen to stumble across it. Across <laughs> it. I mean, they're watching this video, so they yeah. have. So. Yeah. Hi, people. Okay, back to you, uh, other Robbie in the studio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you liked this type of video or if you want more tutorial stuff on effects because I can actually do some more in-depth stuff on the effects I actually did in this video. Just let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Peace.